Today's topic is going to be on eye tracking and how I, as a very eye tracking focused user, utilizes eye tracking with Talon Voice. So the main benefits of eye tracking is its high compatibility with different softwares, where most softwares are built around the premise that you're going to have a mouse and the ability to click on things. It's fast when you combine it with noises. Looking somewhere and doing the pop noise is faster than speaking a command. And it's low vocalization, which can be nice when you talk to your computer the entire day that some tasks can be performed non-vocalized. So in Talon, I'm using the control mouse mode where you have gaze tracking to do large uh, movements with your mouse cursor and it uses head tracking to do fine adjustments. So I've identified three main talking points. It's clicking and dragging, combining the eye tracker with noises and temporarily disabling the eye tracker and why that can be beneficial. So let's start with clicking and dragging. I'm using the pop sound. It's the same pop sound that's built into Talon, but mine is trained using Parrot. And if I uh, do the pop sound or the pop noise rather once, it's a left click. If I do it twice in rapid su succession, it's a double click and three times for a triple click. And in most editors, a double click will select the word or token and a triple click will select the entire line. Let me show you. Drowse. That double and triple click to select is something I do quite a lot actually. I also have a command called drag, so I will say drag, Talon will then hold down the left mouse button until I do the popping noise that releases uh, the button. Drag. 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 Undo. Drowse. Next point is combining the eye tracker with noises. You already seen the pop noise and now I'm going to show you the clucking noise that I use as a repeater and the hiss and shush sound that I use to uh, scroll up and down. So the nice thing about combining an eye tracker with a repeater noise is that you can say a spoken command and then use the pop sound and the eye tracker to move your selection, do the repeater noise move your selection, do the repeater noise and so on without the repeater noise changing. So let me show you that. Chuck line. Undo. Drowse. So here we are at my YouTube page. Something I do quite frequently is opening multiple links in new tabs. So I have a voice command called con, which is control click that will open a link in a new tab. And I'm then going to use the eye tracker and the repeater to open all of these uh, videos in new tabs. Con. Drowse. That, I think, would have been more laborsome to do by voice. Drowse. Combining the eye tracking with uh, s noises for scrolling is beneficial just because you can just look somewhere and then scroll. You don't actually have to click. When you are uh, scrolling with the mouse, it will scroll everything that's under your cursor. You don't actually have to select it. So if I want to scroll the file uh, tree here at the left, s sh s sh snap right, s sh s sh drowse. As you can see, VS Code is focused and I can still actually scroll in Firefox. I'm now using my foot switch. And that's how a normal mouse and scrolling works. But it's kind of beneficial compared to a voice command because most voice commands will operate on your current application. Undo. Drowse. 
And then we have the last point here, temporarily disabling the eye tracker. Why would you, would you want to do that? Okay. The first thing is that you're actually reading and you just don't want the eye tracker uh, active and the cursor following your gaze. So if I wanted to read this text, for example, when the eye tracker was active. Drowse. Yeah, kind of annoying. So now I can either say track or more commonly, I will just press a button on my foot switch to temporarily disable the eye tracker. Track. Track. Snap center. Drowse. Here we have a web page with an on hover event. And I'm now going to try to read this text with the eye tracker on. Drowse. Yeah, I can't do it. So instead, I'm going to place the mouse cursor over the hover text, step on my foot switch, and then read the text and then let the foot switch go. Drowse. And that's about it. I personally feel that the ability to temporarily disable the eye tracker is very beneficial. And if you get into gaming, it's even more so. Uh, playing Diablo, for example, that you can actually look at the minimap without your character running into the corner uh, is kind of nice. So yeah, that's about it. Stop recording.